Do you feel you're unworthy and not moving forward? Maybe stuck at a point in life. Now, if you are stuck at a point in life, is this because of your circumstances, which is making you feel unworthy? What if I tell you that it's not? What if I tell you that it's not your circumstances and neither is it what you're focusing on, but it could be someone that has convinced you to be like this, or it could even be yourself. You have only convinced yourself that it is because of your circumstances in life. The solutions to my problems was to convince myself correctly. Let me explain how. Welcome, I'm Perception Shifter and in this video we're going to speak about do you want to convince yourself to feel good and enjoy your life more. Now when we repeat a lie to ourselves more than often we start to believe it. This is known as the illusory truth effect. What we read, what we hear, what someone tells us repeatedly we begin to feel that it's true even though if it's false information. Now in this, the source doesn't matter or where this information has come from. So for example, if someone has told you that these kind of people don't deserve to be happy in life, and now if that becomes you sometime in life, then you'll tend to start to believe that and you'll tell yourself that you don't deserve this happy life and you start to feel more unworthy. Now here's some problems around this when it comes to your well-being and solutions on how we can counteract this. So stay till the end. The source of the information. Now, whatever we hear or we read isn't always true. Most of the time, it is false. This can also be made for a better read or to sound better. Now, this has also been suggested by Ben Goldark in the book Bad Science, where he criticizes mainstream media reporting on health and science. I have even studied a full module in this in my psychology degree. Any advice that people are giving or telling you about something that they have probably heard from somewhere else, always question it. What is the source of this information? Believing your own lies. Now what we hear or we read, this starts to become us. We begin to believe our own lies. We begin to start saying things like we can't live a happy life or we can't enjoy our life anymore. Now multiple times you would always hear that don't you get it there's been a problem in the world but yes there is a problem in the world and there will always be a problem in the world but what has that got to do with you what has that got to do with you living a good life and for you to enjoy it stay away from incorrect people so you get people that normally tend to tell you that this isn't possible you can't do this now these are the kind of people that you would need to stay or keep a distance away from within your life. Now if they have never done it before then they will tell you that you can't do it and they feel that they can't do it so they will tell you that you can't do it either and tell you that it's not possible. But the one that has done it will tell you how easy and how simple this could be because they have done it. So that person will tell you to go for it and will maybe help you on the way. Repeating the wrong stuff. Negativity is all around us and we'll be repeating what we hear and what other people are saying. Now, if they are saying it to publish something, to make it a better read and it's negative or they're talking negative about somebody else. If you begin to start picking up that kind of talk and if you start to say that as well, then it won't be beneficial for you in the long run. So for example, if there are people out there that do need um, more help within their mental health or their addictions or even their criminal behavior and you are kind of hanging around with them kind of people and that negativity then is drawing within you and then you are talking just like how they are, then you are kind of role modeling the behavior and the negativity will bounce onto you as well. So what you want to do here is it's best to notice what is negativity and what is positivity. So what we tend to start doing then is we start to then repeat negative things within our mind. And then that sooner or later destroys us, bring us back to the main point of this video, it makes you feel unworthy, it'll keep you at one point in life and it won't help you to move forward. So here are some solutions that we can look into together. Now when it comes to the source of information, so yeah when it comes to health and science, the journal of the report will give you the correct facts for this you would need to source out the correct journal. Now, if it's an article that you've read up then you need to see where this study was conducted, how it was conducted, what were the factors and you can even see the conclusion. You're able to see where this information was gathered from. So when we're believing our own lies we need to investigate to see that is this a lie? Is this something that someone has said or someone that has shared that I'm repeating to myself? For example if someone has put a bad post up on Instagram about the world. 
and they've probably even said that it's a bad world or these kind of people are kind of bad now are you repeating that in your mind consistently that these kind of people are bad because this person has said it but who is that person because that person could have just heard it from another person and when it goes on from person to person we all know it becomes like chinese whispers where one person has said something it has now altered or changed and now they've said something else totally different or it could be just added with more stuff and then that would get passed on more and when it's by the time it's come to you it's totally false information and we begin to believe that how do you stay away from incorrect people and be more close to correct people so it's not about staying away and being close but it's more about where you keep your ears open and where you don't where you filter the information and where you don't so if your friend is on a piss up Saturday evening and they're talking about the world or whatever it is and then you're listening to that and you're believing that and this person isn't really anywhere within their life and all they want to do is probably drink and they do have a lot of aggression or love emotions that they want to take out for whatever has happened in their life and they're sharing that information to you but they're focusing on something else and if you let that filter within your mind then these are the incorrect people that we want to be around or speak to or let that belief system of ours change now if you find yourself repeating the wrong things it's easy to then repeat the right things so there's always two sides to a coin now if you just imagine on the left there's negativity maybe you're right and on the right there's positivity so now if you can see that okay this is the information this is negative information that's going to change my values or my belief system i don't want this to filter within my brain what you'd need to do then is look at the opposite okay so if someone tell, if someone is telling you that these kind of people don't deserve anything in life they don't deserve to be happy they shouldn't be happy you should be negative you you've done so much wrong in your life you know you should feel bad you should um feel unworthy then we will need to see everything that's the opposite to that and change your thinking and then repeat what the right thing is now a lot of the times a lot of people have used mantras that they keep repeating consistently now that works as well depending on what you believe in if it's on a different language but what you believe in that's what will happen so if you believe that you repeat something and peace will come to you then peace will come to you because that's what you believe but you don't need to say something in a different language always you can say something that's in your language that you understand and you can always change it you know maybe one day you speak about i want more peace within my life i want to stay more calm you've said that you've put that into action that has become you that has become your belief system then you need to grow out of it and you need to move on to something else you need to move on to maybe now i want to be more achieving more things within my life i need to i want to be more happy you know so in this way now you are changing your belief system it, it all depends on what you are repeating to yourself and once you've repeated that for so for for so long you can go on to something else then as well and maybe i want to be more healthy i may i want to be more fit so the more you repeat it the more it will become you so i hope this video was useful and you opened a few more doors for yourself on perception shifter and i help people with addiction mental health and criminal behavior now you can check out more of my videos that are flashing up on your screen right now i'm sure you'd like it if you've liked this one and if you've liked this one then do smash that like button and leave a brief comment down below in the comment section i'll see you in my next video and remember today is your best day because you are the best